romance by Shostakovich. When we say romance, we think right away about Italy. So nevertheless, we have to show you today how to mix the most Italian cocktail, the Negroni. Negroni was born in Florence, 1819, and since that, uh, is spread all over around the world to send a message of uh, good life and uh, that's amore. You need only three ingredients, very simple. Equal parts of gin. We have about 30 milliliter, or more if your glass is bigger. Italian bitter. You can be creative of uh, which bitter you like and you prefer. And you need a lovely sweet Italian vermouth. All those ingredients, they have uh, something in common, which is a, a combination of botanicals and aromas that they combine together, like the perfect melody, to enhance each other's flavor. You need uh, our usual lovely ice. We put some in the glass. And the rest into the mixing glasses to stir very quickly and gently the Negroni. Negroni doesn't need much dilution. You only need, uh, you only need to combine the ingredients together. So a quick stir will do. So Negroni is a very, very classic cocktail, but it's also it's very flexible. You can be creative, of course, choosing the bitter or the vermouth, but also you can choose uh, different spirits. Negroski with vodka, you have a boulevardier with the bourbon, you have rosita with tequila, or you can be creative as you like. Final touch is the classic orange wedge. And the salute, Negroni. The piece that we're going to be bringing you today is from Shostakovich's 1955 film, The Gadfly, which is a daring romantic adventure, a Soviet historical drama, and it depicts the life of an 1830s Italian hero. Now, with Italy, what are we going to be drinking? It's definitely going to be Ago's classic Negroni. Due to its setting in Italy, Shostakovich moved away from his usual writing style of composition with sharp contrasts and grotesque elements, and has drawn on the musical ideas borrowed from Italian romantic composers. As well as being the centre point of this film, the romance, which I'm going to be playing for you, is actually a piece in its own right. A graceful violin line soars over sweeping harp arpeggios. It's poised and yearning, and it's a real heart on your sleeve melody. I'm joined today once again by Valeria Kubatova, remotely on the harp, and we're going to head out to the garden now to perform Shostakovich's Romance. 